Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Well, once again, I'm here with a watch that you simply can't buy, at least from us. This is the Jezure Le Coult Duomet Asphero Tourbillon. Released in 2012, this example in extra white platinum measures 42 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown. And from lug to lug, a robust but not overwhelming 50.5 millimeters. You must consider it slim at 14.5, considering the complexity of the movement that's at work within this case. Now you can see that glorious Sphero tourbillon with its cylindrical blued hairspring, free sprung and fully shock protected, designed for everyday wear, beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour and pivoting on two separate axes, one every 15 seconds, the other every 30 seconds. It's a spectacle in and of itself and by reorienting the balance and the escapement continuously against every angle with respect to gravity, it restores Abraham Louis Breguet's original vision of the tourbillon as an equalizing engine to even out the effects of gravity against an escapement and a hairspring in every practical position. A wristwatch being far more dynamic on the wrist than a pocket watch. That's the idea of the sphero or gyrating tourbillon as opposed to the single position rotating tourbillon of a pocket watch. Now there's a lot more to this watch than just the Sphero tourbillon, but believe me, you can be forgiven if you simply fix your gaze on it and ignore me for the next couple of minutes. So released in 2012, one year before the company's 180th anniversary jubilee, this is one of the most complex members of the Duomet family. Unlike the Gyro Tourbillon 3, which is not part of the Duomet family, even if it does bear a family resemblance, this watch boasts an incredible combination of a dual time function, twin power reserves, and a unique zero reset function that makes it one of the only tourbillon watches in the world that can be set precisely to the second. So let's dive into this watch the way I prefer to, from the case back. Now this is the Caliber 382 dual met caliber dual main spring barrel with the unique rayon or Cote de Soleil finish that the dual met pioneered across the entire set of bridges radiating out from the balance within its flying and gyrating tourbillon. So all of the bridges are what's known as micourt or an alloy of copper, nickel, and zinc. So they're not brass and they're not rhodium plated and it's that copper on the untreated bridges that imbues the golden shine of this watch. It's almost got a honey glow to it across the movement. All of the edges of the bridges are hand finished with a rounded mirror on glage. You'll note the JLC, again, as with the Gyro Tourbillon 3, did not shy away from the use of interior angles, considered to be the most difficult finishing challenge for artisans. Now the watch is one of only 75 made, so it goes without saying that you will not see many of them, and even though I've been privileged to interact with some of the greatest references in high horology, this is the first one I've experienced firsthand. Now, we're jumping back from the movement, which features 55 jewels and an astounding 460 parts, and we're taking a look at the dial. The first thing I want to demonstrate is the unique flyback second centering function. So there's a pusher at 2 o'clock, or what would conventionally be 2 o'clock on the dial. Now watch the sub-seconds at 6 o'clock. See how I just zeroed that? That is all you have to do once you set this watch to the minute quickly, zero, and reset the second subdial. Now you can control both the date, which actually orbits around the local time at center, and the 24 hour second time zone by moving the crown to the second position, and in the second position, as with an Omega 8500 caliber, you can turn the hour hand, the local hour hand, independently to drive the date and set independently of seconds and minutes. Now, if you pull the crown out to extremity, now you can set all of the dials in sync. And you'll note that I'm setting both the 24 hour second time zone at 12 o'clock, as well as the local time zone. And if you're wondering how you read the date here, there's a very small triangular index at right about seven o'clock adjacent to the inner dial. That's how you read the date. Now the watch is designed for everyday wear. It has a fully shock protected flying tourbillon and it should be noted that it boasts an impressive five bar or 50 meters of water resistance. So while you wouldn't take this one diving and you probably shouldn't take it swimming, it's rugged enough and versatile enough to be your everyday watch. Now it's paired with a beautiful Jezure Le Coult logo inset polished pin buckle, which pleasingly corresponds to the case with platinum extra white 95% pure. 
This is one of the most remarkable entries in high horology in years. It combines JLC's own dual-met concept, two separate mainspring barrels, each with a 45-hour power reserve, each driving a separate drivetrain, one for the balance, the regulating organ, and the other to control all of the indications of time and date. The bifurcation of the movements into two separate parallel movements regulated by a single organ is a modern JLC exclusive. Add the cylindrical hairspring, add the gyro tourbillon concept with its biaxial movement, and you have something that's both mechanically outstanding and aesthetically poetic. Now, you can't buy this from us, but I must say, I can't think of a better place to enjoy it than the Watch You Want Inc. YouTube channel, especially since I get to make the videos. Okay.